Hello, good evening. Hi, good evening. How's it going? Fine. Uh, it's cold. 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 <laughs> okay, good. Yes, it is true. It's very cold, right? Yes. The, the light. Okay. So, how's your day going so far? What have uh, you done today? Uh, I think that, that this light. <laughs> um, a little busy. Busy? Busy? busy. A little busy. I, Why? Uh, I was to work. Uh, I, I always work in, in, in my, but in my home. Oh, you uh, work? You work from home? Yes. Oh, really? I work um, um, how to go to the doctor in the morning. Oh, really? Yeah. But, how, uh, how was it? Um, what do you say? Is, um, control? It was because just I, a check. Uh, they were check just checking you. My a routine, a routine um, appointment. Yes, routine appointment because I am a high pressure, pressure arterial. You have high high blood pressure. Yes. <laughs> okay. High blood pressure. <laughs> you have high blood pressure. Okay. Are you in control? I mean, have you control it? Yes. Uh, I start to control it that because I don't have symptoms. You are asymptomatic. Symptomatic. You're asymptomatic. Yes. Really? Okay, no <laughs> symptoms. No symptoms, but I had to take my medicine every day. In a regular basis. In a regular yes. basis. Okay. Yes. Uh, that's going to be a little bit difficult okay. to be sick. Hello. <laughs> How's it going, Violeta? <laughs> I'm, I'm with cold. <laughs> huh? You got a cold? Yes. I think it's the weather. Uh, I don't know. It is cold or only? Uh, it is cold. I, I don't know how to say uh, Allergia. Allergies. Yes, allergies. You get allergies whenever there's a weather change? Yes. Were you asthmatic when you were a kid? No. No? No. No. You sure? I, yes. Uh, allergic? <laughs> allergic, yes. Uh, because, uh, for example, when I put my, my, my foot on the, on the floor, Mm -hmm. And if the floor is cold, I begin to sniff. Oh, yeah. Then you most likely you were allergic when you were a kid. But we never get to know, right? We will yes. never get to know because, yeah, one of my kids is allergic. Well, he was. He spent, uh, we spent three years um, with injections, you know, twice a week. I, I learned to with him these little injections on his arm. Yes. And that was for three years due to his allergies. And nowadays, nowadays, every time the weather gets cold or hot from, uh, you know, if the day is hot and the night is cold, he <laughs> wakes up, he wakes up really uh, with a, a snoring, how do you call this? Um, a really nose. A no. rainy nose. He gets a rainy nose. A rainy nose. Okay. A rainy nose. Really bad. I mean. And um, uh, the other thing is when the weather is very cold, my nose bleeds. Oh, really? Yeah. Yes. You should take some so, vitamin C. Vitamin C is good for them. Vitamin C and K. Okay. Need... Yeah. But in a regular basis, you know, like mm -hmm. every day, every day. Yes. Before you get the cold. Yes. Okay. But it's good to see you. Thank you for being with us. Um, Violeta Jarvin, good evening. Unless you stood up. Hi, teacher. Good evening. 
Good evening. How's it going? Everything fine. Everything's fine. Today was a, a busy day, but I am fine. I am I'm, relaxing. I'm glad to hear that. That's awesome. Okay. Well, let's see. Elvis. Hello. Hey, good, good evening, evening, Elvis. How's it going? Uh, good. 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 <laughs> it's a little cool. <laughs> a little cold. A little cold? Yeah. Yes. I, I don't know. Everybody says that. Everybody's like, yeah, it's really cold. And that, I mean, I'm hot. Uh, I'm hot. Yeah, yes, in, a, in a good way. In a good way. <laughs> I'm always, I don't, I don't know, my blood, my blood is always hot, you know. I sleep, I sleep without a shirt, just in boxers or, PJ, or PJs, pajamas, because I can sleep you know, with the with the bed sheets on me. I mean, that's too hot. And I have to have the fan turned on. There's got to be a fan. <laughs> if not, I, I can sleep, I can fall asleep. Danny, good evening. Good evening. How's it going, Daniela? Great, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent, you sound better today, yeah? Very happy, very positive, I like that. Good, any news? No, 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 no gossips that you want to tell us about? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know what is a gossip, right? Yes, I, okay. think, I think I know. Did you used to watch uh, Bicha Chambrosa in Channel 2? No, Gossip Girl. Gossip Girl? Yes. Violeta, no, Gossip Girl. <laughs> <laughs> that was the name, yes, Gossip Girl, mm -hmm. Bicha Chambrosa. <laughs> Yeah, when I realized that, I was like, wait, what? Right. Okay, Buddy. Hello, hello. <laughs> Good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. I'm sorry, but uh, I am in the pharmacy. <gasps> oh, my God. Okay, are you okay? But I am, uh, yes, I'm okay, but my husband uh, doesn't feel well. But <laughs> I'm going to my home right now. Okay, relax. Don't worry. We understand. Thank you. Teacher. Thank you. Okay, Alicia. Good evening. How's good it evening, going, teacher. Alicia? Uh, I'm good. I had a busy day, but I'm good. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it, uh, I had a... Um, I had to to work today, but when I was returning to my house, uh, the wind is it was very strong, and uh, maybe uh, tomorrow I will not uh, to work because I think that it's a rescue. But mm -hmm. I think that we we have to prevent the situation without panic, uh, but only prevent. Be precocious. We have to be precocious. Uh, Take okay. all the necessary precautions. I won't work. I won't work. Ah, okay. I wouldn't work. I won't work. Oh, I won't work. Ah, yeah, okay. Yeah, because okay. you said I will not to work. I, ah, okay. I will not work or I won't work. I won't work. Okay. Okay, good. I won't work. That's good. I won't work. <laughs> you keep saying to <laughs> <laughs> remove the preposition before the verb. Okay, I won't work. Okay, good. Let's start. Now we are laughing and that's good. Stanley's here. That's great. Okay. Um, so yesterday we were talking about a very interesting topic. Did you study the topic? This topic, no. The topic we talked about yesterday, the last topic. We were talking about noun phrases um, containing relative clauses as subjects. And we were saying one thing I really miss. Do you see the screen? Not yet, but it's mm -hmm. loading. Oh, it's gray. It is gray, I guess, right? Yes, it's gray. Uh, okay, don't worry. It's not going to work. So 
one thing I really miss, one thing I'll be nervous about. So this answers to some questions that Jose was making on the video uh, yesterday. What was the first question? Okay, let's pretend if you were, um, if you were in Canada, what would you be curious about? What would you be curious about if you were in Canada? Then let's remember one thing, and this is the noun phrase. I'll be curious. Oh my God, I'm dyslexic today. Curious. Okay, one thing I'll be curious about is the language. Uh, hmm. The way they speak or the language. Yeah, the language they speak. Good. The language they speak. I mean, tasting the Canadian ham. <laughs> Oh, finish your phrases. Oh my God, Violeta. <laughs> Tasting the Canadian. Like what? French or English? Yes. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> That's right. Okay, one thing I'll be curious about. Okay, so this part is our noun phrase. Okay. That's basically uh, our noun phrase, what we were talking about yesterday. One thing I'll be curious about is the language they speak, French or English, okay? I send you the chart to the WhatsApp group. Can you check it and tell me another noun phrase? Another noun phrase containing relative clauses. I send you the, the, the chart with the examples. Okay, the next one. What are Three things you'd really miss if you um, left the country. What are three things you'd really miss if you left the country? Oh, I'm missing something here, right? If you'd left the country. Okay. Can somebody answer that question using the same uh, noun phrase with the relative clause? Three things. I will be really miss. Mm -hmm. Are. The pupusa. <laughs> yes, of course. Um, mm -hmm. The how do you say dulces tradicionales? Art artis, artisanal. Artisanal candy. There's got to be something running that word. Yeah. Artisanal candies. Mm -hmm. in, in my house, I think. <laughs> Excellent. Very good. Three things that I... Three, oh, that's optional. That is optional. You heard me? Three things I would really miss. Three things. And this is optional. You can say that I'd 
really miss are the pupusas, artisanal candies, and my house. Yeah, it's true. Okay. So that's your duty right now. How many are we? We are 10 already. So I'm gonna split you and you're gonna you're gonna use the um the examples that I send you on the WhatsApp group. Okay, following this structure. So the first step is to create the WH question, okay, including that relative clause. Okay, any of the relative clauses that I send you, which are on the video, were on the video, and then answer the questions using the positive statement with the relative clause. Okay, you could say what are three things, what are what is something, what is something, what is it that you will miss the most, for example, what will you miss the most? Okay, so I want to see if you can manage this topic the way we have seen it so far, because today we're going to learn the other way around, the second part of this section. Do you have any questions? No, teacher. Okay. Oh, there it is. That's the problem. Just spin the video. Okay, there you go. Okay, so if there are no questions, I'm going to split the class and we're going to practice in groups. There are three. One thing, two things. Oh, good, Violeta. One thing, two things, something, mm -hmm. some things, plurals, singulars, two things. Good. I can touch your face. Okay, good. <laughs> Pay attention to me. Okay, I'm going to split you right now. Bear with me one second. Okay, let's do it. Teacher. Yes. <clears throat> I lost the. I. Mistake. You lost the invitation. Yes, I lost the invitation. Please. <laughs> oh, good. Okay, hold on. Wait for everyone to join. Okay. Vadi, please accept the invitation. Oh, but Vadi. I don't have invitation. Teacher, I don't have invitation. You didn't get it. Okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I don't have. Okay, don't worry. Right now, thank you. Okay, I took you out, I think. Accept again, please. Okay. Hello, Madeline. I'm about to send you to a group, okay? Good evening. Good evening. Please accept the invitation. Okay. Okay, I'm going to send it again, Vero. Uh -huh. You will you um, really miss? Uh -huh. Are um sorry uh. The structure is two things I really miss is. Uh, okay, if you say uh, if you a, say two things, you need to pluralize, right? So you say two things I would or I the really miss are. So uh -huh. you use the plural of the verb to be. Okay. 
Okay. One thing I will really miss is two things or three things I will really miss are. Now, what is the question? How do you make the question? Um, <laughs> I think I have a mistake. Um, two things you will really miss are, but it's not the form to do a question, right? Mm -hmm, that's right. Yeah. You need to use the verb to be as the auxiliary. You see, first you start with a WH question. Yes. And then you go with the verb to be. Okay. Then here you will need the subject. Uh, three things, two, one thing, two things. What are, what is. Mm -hmm. Then you go with the relative noun. The yeah, relative noun close. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then you give okay. a probability if you would left the country, if you would go overseas, if you will visit London, if you would try for the first time um, a new food. Okay. Okay. Good. So what is it? What is? Yes. Uh, now, in this case, guys, I missed to explain you, you can turn things around you see if you were in Canada uh -huh. what would you be curious about that's another way mm. hmm? let me copy let me copy <laughs> <laughs> let me take a Canada. picture Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. If one of you is a, if, if you are on a computer, try to share the screen with your classmate and start building the question and the answers. Okay. 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 Try it out. Let me do something here. I will send you okay. this. I'll try to send this to your chat. Okay, I'll send this to the chat as well, so you can have it there. Okay, keep going, keep going, keep going. Okay. So, Elvis. will be missed or what uh, if you were in canada what would you be curious uh, about um i will be curious about the culture the seasons because canada is the only country that have a uh, four seasons of the year a spring summer uh, fall and winter, I think so. <laughs> so in that case, okay. good, very good answer. Now, okay. keep in mind the examples that I just sent you to your WhatsApp. Remember the structure? In that case, uh, you were supposed to start with one thing I will be curious about, okay? One thing or something, okay. something I will be curious about Okay, so we can practice the noun clauses. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. okay. Or oh, one thing about curious. Uh, about curious. No, one about... thing. One thing I, I will be curious about. I, I One thing. I will. Curious about the season. Yes, almost. You missed the verb to be. I'll, about, be, I'll, I'll, I will be curious about. Will be curious about a uh, that seasons, the seasons. Okay, is the seasons. Is the seasons. Uh, okay. Okay, or are the seasons? Are. Mm -mm. Because. It's is. 
Porque lo que, lo que determina, lo que determina el verbo to be, buddy, es el sujeto que estás ocupando. Entonces, si decís one thing, singular, is. Ok. Some things that I will really miss or some things I'll be curious about are ta 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 okay one thing is 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 something are si pluralizas es are singular is okay thank you teacher you're welcome alicia you have a lot of okay. noise okay yeah <laughs> i know i know don't worry okay continue girls do you have any questions Any questions you may have? Uh, teacher, uh, it's um, the uh, if if you if I use for example one thing, I can use uh, some or something yes. in the same. Inst ah, okay. Instead of one thing, you can use something I will really miss. Ah, okay. okay, okay, okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, let me go to another room. About. Okay. Um... And if you were in USA, and if you were in USA, what place would you like to know to know um i okay seria um i will really uh, know uh, um one place i'd really like to know is ah uh, okay uh -huh. <laughs> good try it one place I'd really like to know. Um, did I say the Grand Canyon? No, I don't know. The Grand Canyon is not the day. The Grand Canyon? Yes, the Grand Canyon. At the Grand Canyon. I send you the oh. questions. So, uh, Stanley, yes. I think. Stanley, I think you were trying to say, what is one place you'd really like to know if you were to the, if you went to the United States? By the way, Stanley, it's the United States or the USA. Don't forget the, the article. USA. The okay, USA. Okay, the yeah, USA. If you went to the U, to the USA, what is one place that you'd really like to know? One place I really like to know is Niagara Falls. Niagara, Niagara. Niagara Falls. Niagara Falls. Wow. Yeah. Where is that? That's in New York, I think, right? Yes. Yes. No, Canada. Buffalo. Oh, Buffalo. Wow. It's in the in the um. How do you say frontier in English? Border. It's in the border. Yes. <laughs> it's in the border between border. Canada and and New York in in the states. I mean. Buffalo, New York, I think. Yeah. Okay. Adriana. It's an hello. amazing. It's an amazing, nice. an amazing place. <laughs> that that that's what I heard. I heard that it's an amazing place. Adriana. Hi. I was writing my example. So, my example <laughs> is: if you were in a helicopter, what will you what will you be anxious about? <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy and that's good, okay. I'm crazy, that's, that's why I make crazy questions. That's, that's amazing, you're very creative and that's good. That is very good. Okay, guys, what would you be? Okay, answer my question. Uh -huh. <laughs> Can you repeat again, please? Okay, Type if it. you, if you were chat. in a helicopter, what would you be anxious about? Ah, okay. <laughs> Uh, one thing I will be anxious about is is the view. I don't know. Or, I don't the, know. Height, the height. The, the height. The height. Yes, the height. 
And the, how do you say? Gasoline, pero no es gasoline. The gas? Maybe. <laughs> the fuel. The, the fuel. 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 F-U-E-L. The fuel. Or gasoline. And, yes. One thing uh, I, I'd be anxious. Um, About? One thing I'd be an anxious. 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 I'd be, About? I'd be, I'd be anxious about is is um fall out fall out of falling, the, falling, falling out of uh, falling out of the helicopter helicopter falling out falling out of the helicopter 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 good great okay. job guys and okay you say parachute back parachute oh without without a, a parachute yeah without <laughs> a parachute my god that's crazy. Okay, keep and going. And also with eagles because they crash with the sometimes with the helicopter. Birds. Yes. Any kind of bird. That's awesome. Oh my god. Okay, keep going. I'm just missing okay. one more group. Keep giving your examples. Okay. Okay. Education and the computer teacher. Uh, yeah, science. And uh, are there uh, teachers? Uh, teaching science and math in, in, in English. In English? Yes. Oh, Are yes. there science and math teachers? Yes. Teaching in, teaching Hello, in teacher. I, I, I was remember you in my school today. Oh, really? Yes, because I was speaking with the, the, the teacher, uh, the teacher Claudia, about you. Really? Yeah, he, she is a, a great, a great teacher. She speaks so fast as well as you. Oh, really? Oh, and yeah. all the afternoon, I was the I was speaking in English. And I was uh, practicing with with her, and and she uh, told me congratulations. You speak more than than the the last year. The 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 other, really? That's uh, yeah. awesome. Uh, she told me, she told me, but I don't know how do you think about it. About this. What do you think? What do you think about this? I think it's true. I, You're talking. Sometimes, sometimes I speak well so fast, but sometimes I speak slowly and I don't know where I, in my mind, I don't know what you go, happened. You go somewhere else. Okay. Don't worry about the speed, okay? Focus on speaking properly. Yeah. Okay. I don't speak fast. I always try to articulate every single word. Yes. Okay. I, I told her, you are a great teacher. Oh, oh I would like to, to meet, to meet him. Meet him. Uh, meet, meet him. Meet no, him. she him. told me, she told me, I don't know. Uh, yeah. Okay, that's awesome. Thank you very much. Well, then say hi from me. Uh, <laughs> let me go and hide this thing. Okay, guys, so we're trying to apply. There we go. Oh. Okay. Okay, so we're trying to apply the noun clauses, as you noticed. Can you give me an example of a question that you have built? One thing I'd be curious about is... Uh, is, uh, is try to eat try to taste, try to taste the Canadian ham, <laughs> but I, I work very, very slowly. I make pauses. <laughs> Canadian ham. Yes, I'm, I'm curious about. The Canadian ham. I heard about it too. Okay, Canadian ham. Or the food with uh, uh, 
maple. Maple syrup. Maple syrup. 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 Yes. Because they, they, they cook in with many, they use the maple syrup and in, in other, in other food, not only to hot cakes. <laughs> not only hot cakes. I don't like, I don't like maple. Maple syrup? You don't like maple no. syrup? No. I love it. It's delicious. No, I, I only like the honey. <laughs> um, that's more natural. Okay. So, good. Um, so, can you make a question? You did, right? Um, Madeline, can you try making a question? Uh, no, no, no. It's, uh, it's okay. I understand. <laughs> try it. <laughs> Ah. Okay, try it. Try it. Try. What is something you be? You have to make a question. <laughs> ah, yes. Ah, okay. Sorry for for participate. Mm -hmm. Sorry for participating. Okay. No. What let's is something try. you be anxious about? about if anxious you about were. If you were. In an in an airplane ah yes uh, i i give i so, i have a question or answer the question answer the question what is something you'd be anxious about when i was in the airplane if and... you were in an airplane what would you be anxious about ah yes in the first in the first plane i was anxious anxious no, en but este in caso, second, estamos haciendo una suposición, ¿ok? Vamos a hacer una suposición, vamos a ocupar la siguiente estructura, ¿ok? Ya se me dijo something. Something. Something, ese sería mi sujeto. Y yeah. aquí, aquí voy a reemplazar en lugar de you, voy a decir I'd. What is something? I'd como be I would be. Okay. Ah, uh, yes. So we start uh, the sentence with. In my with... case, in my case, uh, when the airplane uh, move um, so fast, I, I be, I am anxious uh, because I think uh, the plane, uh, uh, the plane fall. Okay. So landing is 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 the good word to say aterrizar. Landing, landing. No landing. Uh-huh. Yes. Yeah, landing. That's right. Okay. Landing. So something I'll be this is a structure modeling just... we're doing, okay? Something and then something. that that's our subject. I'd be anxious about is this is this is our landing. this is our noun clause okay and then I'll be anxious about is and this is the object the plane not landing the object clause yes yes I understand it then. okay yes. good try to make more examples on your own okay try to make another example I leave it I leave it the 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 experience. The, the experience. Yeah, I was okay. experiencing that. Okay, good. But in this case, it's a hypothetical situation. Let's let's apply this structure. Okay, something, something. Okay. When I came, when I came back uh, to Brazil to United States, I was anxious. About the plane falling, okay. <laughs> Not too good, okay. Good, try to make one more example, okay? I will go with another group and then we will be over. Okay, continue, continue with Violeta. One more example, okay? But do follow the structure that I send you on the group. Okay, so the structure where uh, For example, um, 
I think that all hotels have a, a con higher condition. Higher. A conditioner, air. Air conditioning, that's good. Air conditioning. Air mm -hmm. conditioning, yes. Air conditioning. Mm -hmm. Okay, what are two things you would really miss? Daniela? Uh, I wrote here. <laughs> <laughs> Two things I will miss are my pet and my family. Okay, because but I don't have an option. <laughs> let, let's see the structure. What are two things you would really miss? Oh. Or you can contract it, right? You, the, you apostrophe D. So what are two things you really miss? Apostrophe D. You can use the apostrophe D. I don't have the the, the, the the apostrophe. Oh, really? In my laptop, yeah. I hmm. don't have it. Are you sure? Yeah. Let me let me see if I have the tilde. <laughs> oh, but you have it in English. So try to no. erase, try to leave you, the, just you and the D. D, space. Oh, a space after the D. There. Okay, now right click. But I don't have in English the language in my computer. You don't have the language package? Oh. There you go. Yes. <laughs> there you go. You see? Okay, that's the way. You really miss if you left the country. Okay, two things I would me I would really miss. I'd really miss are my pets and my family. Okay. What are three things you would really be? You would really be nervous about. Okay. Nervous about if you would be in a dangerous situation in, in another country. It's another, right? Yes, single. I, I don't know if if are another or other. Another, singular, other mm -hmm. plurals. Oh, yeah. <laughs> let me take notes about that. <laughs> yes, other countries, another country. Okay. Another singular, in others plural. plural. Other okay. without the S, other plurals. Okay. Other countries. Plural. Other, another. Okay, good. Three things I will really be nervous about are. really nervous about are calling the police. ¿Por qué se ocupa el gerundio ahí, Daniela? Porque no puedes tener dos verbos en el mismo tiempo gramatical y ya tienes el verbo to be. Are. Okay. Oh, calling the police. If we're lost, is correct lost. If I get lost. If I get lost. If I get lost. The police take out the comma, remove the comma. If I get lost. Oh, wait, if I lost my wallet, you were right. I'm sorry. If I lost my wallet. Uh, no, it's, it's okay. If, if uh, I get lost myself, yes, right? If I get lost yes. in the city, okay. Yes, or, uh, or lost my wallet. Or losing my wallet. Losing my wallet. Mm -hmm. There you go. Excellent. Something I will be comfortable comfortable is getting a good and cheap hotel room. Something that I'd be comfortable with. Comfortable with is 
-hmm. is getting getting a good and cheap hotel room. Good. Great job. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. You're very good, Danina. Great job. Okay. Good job, guys. Let's go uh, back. I have. Oh no! 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 Tell me! Nothing, tell nothing. me! Tell me! Please! No! 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 no. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> yes, that's okay. That's okay. No te quedes con la duda, Daniela. Dale, pregúntame. No, I I will say it. I will. Le iba a decir. Mm -hmm. I was about to tell you. I was about to tell you. I was. I talk. I was about. I was about to tell you uh, if we use if you if I always use comfortable with but yes it is in the presentation yes it is in the <laughs> video yes exactly okay. it's the same examples great job okay, okay. let's go back okay Okay. Teacher, excuse me, but I'm going. I'm go to the uh, give the medicine to my husband. Give me a uh, three minutes. Give me three minutes. Okay, good. One, two. Oh, she said minutes, right? Okay, three. Okay. <laughs> Let's move on, guys. So, give me your examples. I want to hear your examples. Can somebody want, does somebody want to share the best example that you were able to build with your couple? And three things that I will really miss <laughs> if I left the country, I probably it would be pupusas. Uh, the 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 countries are ah the 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 fact that the countries are near between each other and um, yeah <laughs> and uh, the beach the beach uh, uh, probably are you pluralizing beach? Can you pluralize beach, guys? Beaches. 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 Okay. <laughs> yeah, the beaches. Okay. I didn't get that part. The fact that countries are very close to each other. That's good. Now, what, what was the question? What would you miss if you left the country? Something like that. If you left the country, what are three things you will miss? Okay, good. Another example. Okay, just one at a time. One at a time, guys. Wait, wait for your turn. I thought I thought the same as Alicia because I told to Madeline uh, I really miss the distance, the short distance. Short distances we between that we have here between cities that we have here. Okay, yes, between in, between in, cities in the whole in the whole country. In the whole country, okay, that's between cities, not countries, right? It's the same thing, basically. I think is 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 city. Yes, because going to the because states, countries. Yeah, it's countries. I bet it's still. I mean, if you compare uh, the United States with Central America, right? Ah. <laughs> yeah, so yes, I got your point. I got both of you. Great job. Okay. Did Did anybody use any anything else like another relative? Adriana, plus? tell the the question about helicopter. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> okay. My question was: If you were in a helicopter, what would you do? 
What would you be anxious about? If you were in a helicopter, what would you be anxious about? Uh huh. Need even? To crash with a bird. <laughs> to crash with a bird, okay. So one thing I'll be anxious about One is... thing that I'd be anxious about is to crash with a bird. Perfect. That's the uh, target language of this lesson, to use the relative clauses, okay? Let's see. So you, you already used uh, anxious, nervous, mm, miss, someone used comfortable. What about curious? Can somebody make a question with curious about? No? If you were... If you were 10 years old nowadays, if you were 10 years old nowadays, what is one thing you would be curious about? If you were 10 years old nowadays, what is one thing that you'd be curious about? Good, Veronica. Okay. Uh, okay. Nowadays? Nowadays, uh, if, okay. if I were 10 one years thing, old. Okay, one thing I will, I will be curious, curious. about is, uh -huh. a curious is um, COVID, I don't know. <laughs> it's COVID-19, <laughs> if you were 10 years old. Wow. If you, nowadays. <laughs> yeah, nowadays, of course, if you were 10 years old. I think you will be curious about it. Hmm. What else, guys? If you were 10 years old in these days, you know, that we're living in 2020, what would you be curious about? One thing that I'd be curious about is my mom's makeup. <laughs> Your mom's makeup? Uh, yeah. <laughs> has it changed? Ha cambiado? Has it changed with time? Is it a still? No. <laughs> So, no, but when you it begins, you, it begins. You were three years, years or two years. years. <laughs> oh, okay. But girls are always curious at that age. Okay, oh, interesting. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah, just like my boy yeah. when when my boy sees me shaving, just like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why are you doing that? <laughs> Yeah, okay, curiosity. Good guys, so that's what we were doing. We were using uh, relative clauses. Let me go there. Uh, noun phrases containing, and didn't show. Okay, we were using noun phrases containing relative clauses as subjects. So the, the relative clause is already there, okay, in blue, and we already used it. Now, let's talk about the second part, which is noun phrases containing relative clauses, but as objects, not as subjects. Hmm, confusing? A little bit. Let's take a look. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to express your feelings towards traveling to other countries. Can you see the screen, you guys? how to use noun phrases to do this. In our previous class, we learned how to express these ideas. And what we focused on learning was how to express the, uh, these ideas and using the noun phrases as the subject of our sentence. What we're going to do today is we're going to focus on the right side of this chart and we're going to learn how to use the noun phrases as the object of our sentence. So if you recall our previous lesson, we learned one thing I really miss is my mom's cooking. And we learned this sort of formula here, subject plus relative clause plus the verb to be and then the object, uh, that, that's the activity. What we're going to do in this lesson is we're going to borrow this object and we're going to turn that into the subject of our sentence. Um, so I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep one of those ideas there so you can see exactly what happens whenever we make that particular change. What we want to do is we want to change this statement. One thing I really miss is my mom's cooking. 
into my mom's cooking is one thing I really miss. By the way, it's important to mention, and I think I did not mention this in our previous lesson, that what you see in parentheses is optional. That means that you can either use it or you know, exclude it from your sentence. So one thing that I really miss is my mom's cooking. That's correct. But also if you just say one thing I really miss is my mom's cooking. Either one of those two sentences is correct. Let me write this structure down so you can see what's going to happen whenever we make this change. As I mentioned previously, what we want to do is we want to change this noun phrase that is being used as the subject. That means that the noun phrase, one thing I really miss, is the subject of our sentence. Uh, and basically what we want to do is we want to change that into being the object of our sentence, as you can see here in our next example. So um, the structure is the following. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to have, uh, we're going to change my mom's cooking into that being the subject of our sentence. All right, so let me go ahead and write that down. I'm going to say my, my mom's cooking. That becomes the subject of our sentence now. All right. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm just going to make sure that um, uh, this is quite clear. So I'm going to uh, put in those spaces there. So I'm also going to go ahead and change that color to make sure that we um, see what's happening. Right. So that's in green. The subject is in green. So I'm, I'm changing my mom's cooking, which was the object of our previous sentence to that being the subject of our sentence now. Now, notice that the verb to be also changes in location and the verb to be follows the subject. So my mom's cooking. All right. And that's the verb to be is let me change the color there as well. OK, there we go. Uh, then this follows the noun phrase. All right. So what do I mean by the noun phrase? Uh, well, uh, uh, previously it was the subject of her sentence and also that would follow the relative clause. So literally, this is what I'm going to put here. I separated it so that you could see actually what happened there. All right. Uh, but the, the noun, uh, and I, I think I colored that differently. So let me make sure everything matches here. All right. Um, and that's basically what happened. Just a couple of things changed. Number one, we had to change the object of our previous sentence to that being the subject of our new sentence. So my mom's cooking. Uh, and then that followed the verb to be. So the verb to be follows the subject. My mom's cooking is one thing I really miss. If we look at our previous examples, the ones that we did in our previous lesson, uh, in which we said one thing I'd be nervous about is getting lost. So let's say that I wanted to change this idea and I wanted to use this uh, noun phrase, but now being used as the object. All right. Um, and, and so let me write that idea down. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to change this, uh, this activity getting lost. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay. Ah, uh, no, teacher. <laughs> okay. Ah. Se nos acaba el tiempo. Bien. A ver. I have bad connection ah. right now. I, I thought uh, the, the, you, you are a, 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 mute. You are in a speaking. In. Okay. Yeah. Revisen ese video. Y es prácticamente lo mismo. La acción es la que se vuelve el sujeto, ¿no? Luego tengo el noun clause, luego tengo el noun phrase que sería something, um, one thing, ¿ok? Y luego eh, la noun clause, again. So, revisen bien ese video para que quede más claro eso y lo vamos a aplicar bien mañana, así como lo hemos hecho ahora con la primera parte. Por favor, terminemos la plataforma, ¿ok? Esta es nuestra última semana, mañana y pasado, son las últimas dos clases, and that's it. Se acabuche. Primero Dios, empecemos el próximo lunes. Si ustedes terminan la plataforma a tiempo, ¿verdad? 
inviten a sus compañeros en el chat, ayúdenme en eso. Porfa, si conocen a alguno de sus compañeros que no están, no han estado asistiendo, pues invítenlos, aún están a tiempo, determinar la plataforma y cualquier cosa me escriben, yo les ayudo, ¿ok? Good night. Take care. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Bye.